Strictly hypothetical. Let's say a man wants to take out on a date. Why is that hypothetical? Check your calendar, pussycat. <laughs> Uh, now, would you rather this man had looks, personality, or money? Personality. <laughs> looks? <laughs> money? <laughs> Why did you ask me that? No reason, just wanted to get your honest opinion. <laughs> Here are the answers to that question here. Aha. Uh -huh. If Dorothy finds out I hired a matchmaker for her, she'll kill me. Oh, I understand. <laughs> By the way, I'd like to change the answer on number 10. I think a prison record does matter. Okay, but you just cut her chances in half. Never mind, whatever you got. Sophia, are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course. Look, you better be going. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You forgot to answer the questions on the back. And I still need a picture. Would you settle for a thousand words? No. All right, I'll get you a picture. Now move, move. That sign says no soliciting. Come back here and I'll blow your head off. Capiche? <laughs> Pussycat, I have another hypothetical question. Let's say a man is interested in you. This isn't going to stop until one of us dies, is it? No. <laughs> Which of the following characteristics could you live with? Body odor? <laughs> schizophrenia? Extra toes? <laughs> I couldn't live with any of those. Look, I am perfectly capable of attracting a man who is charming, good-looking, and interested in personal hygiene. Are you gonna take this seriously or not? <laughs> Hi, pussycat. Gee, you look nice tonight. Well, thank you. But lean over here and smile. I think you have something on your teeth. Oh, really? <laughs> Ma, why did you do that? Playboy is running a spread on the substitute teachers of Miami. I had a wonderful time tonight, Jack. Good, so did I. You know, I don't ever go out on blind dates, but Ma was so insistent, and, well, you sounded so nice on the phone. I am nice. They don't call them correctional facilities for nothing. <laughs> and a sense of humor, too. Okay. Boy, I, I bet we're both relieved Mrs. Contini did such a great job matching us up. I'll, I'll have to thank her in the morning. <laughs> Wait, can we back that up a second? Who is Mrs. Contini? What do you mean, matching us up? You know, Mrs. Contini, the matchmaker who brought us together. I realize the process is hopelessly old-fashioned, but it's a lot more personal than those video dating services, don't you think? <laughs> I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. Uh, I think you'd better go. Uh, wait, can I see you again? Probably not. I will be at the Florida State Women's Prison. <laughs> the one in Jacksonville? They used to come to our dances. <laughs> Why are you going there? Murder. <laughs> You're gonna meet some great gals. Hi, pussycat. Say goodbye, old woman. Have a good time? Do I sound like I had a good time? How the hell should I know? You're always like this. Your matchmaker set me up with a criminal. White collar. Ma, will you stop meddling in my life? I am sick of it. I told you, if I want a date, I can find one for myself. Oh, Dorothy, dear sweet delusional Dorothy. Blanche, if you don't mind, I'm having a heart-to-heart -heart with my mother. Now listen up, you withered old Sicilian monkey. I don't have to take this. Keep it up and I'll take you to Shady Pines. That's where I take you. Ouch. Guess I backed into that one.